So, in my last video I played the Terminator Dawn of Fate and I sneezed like a bitch all the way through and I still feel like I need to sneeze. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, we now have Terminator, the, Terminator 3 The Redemption which actually has an Arnold Schwarzenegger looking dude on the front and Arnold Schwarzenegger looking dude in the game so hopefully It'll be a lot better. It's got Arnie riding motorcycles. Uh, and yes, it's based in the year 2032 as opposed to the 2027 20, of Terminator Dawn of Fate. So we're going to slap this in. Uh, this was released in 2004, so two years after Dawn of Fate. So you got to hope that they improved it because uh, to be honest I thought that the the other game's pretty dire. Um, Terminator 3 the actual movie um, I enjoyed it when it came out um, I've not it's one of those movies I've not really felt compelled to watch again um, so kinda I guess that makes it average um, well, I'd, I'd sit there and watch it if it was on TV. It's just not on that often. It's usually Terminator 2 that's uh, the big blockbuster that we play on ITV 2 all the time. So, uh, yeah. And it's loading. It's still loading. And now it's on a different screen and it's loading. Uh, this game was okay for people aged 11 plus according to Alspur and then Peggy stepped in and this one's a 16 plus. I don't want to fucking save. Do you want to say start the game? Yes. Right. Got some sort of intro. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 and blah blah blah. How many fucking intros do you need, man? Another one, obviously. Oh dear. At least you can skip them. So finally at the title screen, yep, another intro. Um, I think this is the intro to the actual uh, movie. Maybe not. Oh, that doesn't look good enough to the actual movie CGI. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. We'll skip it anyway. We just want to play the goddamn game. Uh, so here we're obviously booting up Terminator. Good Terminator, reprogrammed Terminator, I'm assuming. And it's actually just the loading screen. God damn you! I just want to play the game. Right. Okay. Yep. Continue. Yep. Continue. Your hard drive got damaged during capture. I've reassembled the basics to get your system up and running. It's going to take some time before they're fully functional. Your scan vision is messed up too. Let's see. How are you going to analyze the environment, get mission data, or identify targets? I don't know. Maybe you're going to you fucking know, tell me, you douchebag. It's like it's only good for a short time. Probably not enough terabytes in your system. Try to activate your scan vision again. General, what are you doing? Move aside. Hold on. It's working. The fire order. John's dead. Dead? This thing killed him. Do you realize what you've done? 62 seconds ago, I was activated. 14 seconds ago, I sat up on this table. I should have. <laughs> it's like fate. Somebody doing a uh, Schwarzenegger impression. That's funny. That's all it is. Doing a voice. What's your mission? To travel back to 2003 and, and do bad impressions of famous actor. General, 
He's our only option. Does Skynet know you've been reprogrammed? Affirmative. My internal transponder was activated at system startup. Skynet is aware of my new mission and will attempt to terminate me. Damn. This is Brewster. Initiate red alert and get base defenses ready now. Uh, Let's you gotta wish this is just done a, a different main character rather than just fucking have uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger fake phony imposter. Um, so it looks like we can upgrade shit. Blah blah blah, so it looks like we just get one block to use and continue. So, some RPG elements, and we've got all these uh, combos as well. I'm assuming this is going to switch to a third person kind of view at some point. Graphics are uh, a step up from Dawn of Fate, but uh, the frame rate doesn't seem too consistent, to be honest. Um, okay. I need your clothes, your boots, and your laser beam. Alright, so here we are then. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to shoot at it with a shitty little fucking gun. Otherwise, so you can only use your red vision shit for a certain amount of time and then it has to uh, recharge, I guess. I am bad ass. So at least it chucks you uh, outside in the actual battlefield, which was one of the things that uh, didn't really get the feeling that Dawn of Fate was actually going to go um, out into the open. I thought that it was probably kind of, sort of trying to stay co uh, claustrophobic because of hardware limitations. Uh, you may you may go outside and later levels on that. As I say, I've never really played it extensively because it's, it's an average game and there's so many great games uh, on the PS2 and it, it doesn't really feel, you know, like a, a real Terminator game. Whereas this does, you've got, you got the thunder in the sky, you've got the darkness, uh, an Arnold Schwarzenegger looking motherfucker, uh, kind, of, kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger sounding motherfucker. So uh, yeah, it just feels a bit more like, and uh, yeah, you got like a Hollywood that says Hellward. That's pretty cool. Um, definitely a step up from uh, Dawn of Fate. There's a lot more detail on the graphics. I do feel like I'd be more inclined to actually uh, play this game for a, a sort of extended length of time. Still not perfect, uh, it doesn't feel amazing but this time rather than just a mediocre game with uh, low average graphics and uh, you know, subpar art design there's clearly been a bit of thought put in, look we've got a, a crashed plane there. You know, it's, graphics are a lot more detailed um, camera's been kind of fixed, if you know what I mean. I mean basically it's a totally different game but the Atari had the rights and uh, they obviously realised how uh, there was a lot of stuff that was crap about the first game so just completely scrapped that and uh, caught with something new. So let's look at the back. Uh, I can't really see anything tying them to the same uh, development house, so it might just be a completely different development team. Okay, the backs and boxes. Ah! 
Last little touch with the uh, half terminators crawling along the floor, just the torsos. I play a game like this, I kind of wish um, they, they didn't scrap the ability to play PS2 game, uh, well in disc form anyway, um, on the PS3. Um, yeah, because it's the sort of game where I'd like to play it with uh, you know, upscale graphics, a bit more polish, because I think this would look pretty decent uh, upscale. Ah, so we're actually, I thought that was on rails then, but we're actually somehow controlling the truck and the uh, Terminator. Oh no, did he shoot there? No, what about fucking shaking the bitch off? Yeah, a bit of variety to the gameplay. Um, what's this? It's like a shortcut. Almost like a racing game, this as well. Now we've got some sort of big ass shit to. Uh, I mean, to be honest, the only thing. I think you could do to this game to capture the essence of the Terminator anymore is actually have Arnold Schwarzenegger do the voiceover. Um, this is exactly what I'd sort of expect from a, a Terminator game. Um, but it, uh, it would be nice to, uh, to play a, a first person Terminator game. Like I said in the previous video, I think there's one for the PC, but. Uh, I've never actually played it. Ah, so we've just jumped over and taken over like a Terminator sort of vehicle now. I'm kind of frantic this. Uh, there's not really any noticeable drop in frame rate. Uh, can I actually get out or get off this vehicle? It seems so. Uh, that. Oh, there, another one comes along. Isn't that handy? So, Terminator. Not the dawn of fate, but Terminator 3 The Redemption. Um, definitely a game that captures the uh, feel of the, the Terminator movies um, a lot better than Dawn of Fate did. So um, I can say that this is actually a viable alternative to watching a Terminator, Terminator movie, um, as far as I can tell. So thumbs up from me. Um, Seems pretty, uh, pretty chaotic and uh, playable at the same time.